Zoe, what does Australia look like the morning after the referendum if voters say no? Yeah, Stephanie, that is the most important question uh, and the one that I spend most of my time thinking about. This debate has been terribly divisive in a way that not even I foresaw. Uh, I see real sadness amongst our community. I see friendships that are on hold. I see families that don't want to sit down together. I have seen a real nastiness that has frankly taken my breath away because I didn't think this would happen. Uh, so our job, all of us, whatever that vote is, whatever that vote is, yes or no, is to make sure we bring the country back together the day after. Um, I wish the, the debate were less sharp in our communities. Uh, I think there were many options that could have been pursued not to have such a divisive debate. There could have been different words, there could have been a different approach. We know there's 85 per cent support for constitutional recognition of our First Nations people. So there were many alternatives to this divisive and quite frankly painful debate. So the important focus is the day after and how we bring Australians back together, how we get back to being proud and strong and unified and equally back to addressing the different outcomes between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians. 